Welcome everyone. Today we have a special gold making guide and today this one is very special. If you look on top of me, I have just reached 400,000 gold. And this is not because I didn't spend my gold. Notice I'm very close to 1,370 and this is entirely free to play too. I'll discuss to you guys the secrets of this method and what I want to do is I want to show you guys a very special excel of how we're doing this and how we can read the market trend. So in this Excel, we'll be showing you what product ads can sell at what time interval, and you can construct this Excel for your server too. So notice that we are monitoring the prices of different items and also different patterns of items in the server. And this will show you the time intervals of how to make a massive profit. So I'm very excited to bring you this new market strategy and also Excel for profit guide. And in here, we'll talk about when to buy items, when to sell items, and what to buy in your server to guarantee a profit. There's a lot of notes over here I want to share with you guys. And this is how I made 400,000 gold free to play. And also I'm not slowed down with my progress, right? So this is very exciting. I want to share with you guys and explain everything. Now this video will be broken into three parts. The first part, I'll briefly go through my notes of what items to trade. Why do we want to look at that for this moment and how does it work? And also we'll talk about when to trade those items. When I talk about when to trade those items, we will be using this amazing Excel. And this will tell you the patterns of your server and also when is the lowest point to buy and also when is the highest point to sell to make a massive profit. And after that, I will share you guys how I made my profit and how does this work. And also I have made some losses. So I want to give you guys on the final part of some of the tips I have in making profit, in not getting too greedy and how to avoid different things and different strategies so you don't make a loss and you can guarantee more profit by doing this method. Now, similar to all of the videos, the new Excel and also the new notes will be available for download if you want to download from the Google Docs and also from Excel and those will be in the links below. And also a very big thank you to our friend Apex DM for sharing me his amazing marketing place Excel. And this is the first version I want to share with you guys because it doesn't cover too many things. That's too crazy. But it also gives you a very basic idea and also a good summary of when to buy and how to sell. So because you have the price points, you have the patterns over here, you can see at what time of the server time the price will change and what. And I will try to explain over here with some of my notes, why do price change this way? So logically we'll explain it. And with the market trend and also Excel, this will help you to find the best timing to buy and also best timing to sell. Then I'll talk about what items to trade and why do we trade those items to make sure you can make a profit in the marketplace and you can make close to, you know, hundreds of thousands of gold because I've been testing this, we'll be doing this together and this really helps. Now I have been following some of the comments and also some of the feedbacks from some of the videos. One of the biggest comment is that prices will vary between servers and items have different demand. And sometimes the pricing I share with you guys is not right simply because my server have different demands and also different patterns. But using this Excel, if you enter the number correctly, you will start to see the patterns of the items we're looking at. And we'll be adding new item on the list to monitor as well. So this way you can start to see the patterns. So currently I'm trading the tier three homing materials. There's multiple reasons for this. One is that people will eventually get to tier three. And trust me guys, currently I'm slowly getting to 1,370. It's very slow cause I'm going 100% free to play. I haven't paid into the game. So using my materials and also I'm too greedy to keep my gold to, tra to trade. I don't want to use all of it. I can rush to it, but I don't see any point in rushing. So I'm slowly progressing free to play. Now, some of the items that is going to be a high demand is going to be the rate up materials. And this can be solar grade, solar blessing, and also solar protection. So those items are the items I'm currently trading. I'm also looking to the red and also blue stones. But very soon as we can see in Excel over here, the prices of those items have been dropping. And because they have been dropping, we're still trying to predict it with Excel. It is a little unpredictable at the moment. Now other items like the pouches for tier one, tier two, and also tier three have a great opportunity for profit. We'll talk about this, but I have made a loss on this because it's a very low demand. So I also want to share you about this on the next part. So to summarize, I'm trading mostly the tier three rate up materials. I used to trade the red and also blue, you know, the guardian stone and also destruction stones, but at the moment, the price is too unpredictable. Now you might be wondering about the skins and also months. Why did the price of those drop? Well, I have some of my personal understandings for those because price have fallen by about 35%. I just want to show you guys, I've been monitoring them, but I haven't been investing into them. So what you can see over here is the skin prices, you know, the lawn maker went from 30,000 to 20,000. The platinum skin went from like, you know, a lot higher. And also the month, the celebrate month have been going down. Now, one of the reasons why that is, 
the case is because not only new skins are being released, so there is less demand for the current skins, players are also rushing to sell their skins for gold. And there's a massive supply because they keep selling and they keep betting each other down. Because players want to push for tier 3 and also 1700 for the new content, right? So there's too much supply, there's not enough demand for those items, and those turn them into temporarily a bad investment. Because this market is crushing, everyone is rushing to sell. There's too much supply in the moment to go into skins and also mounts. Now other items like herbs, chaos shards, and also adventure tombs can also be a good trading item. But those are mainly focused on profit for the long run. And I have tried to trade herbs, and to my blessing, I have traded most of my herbs and made about 20% profit before the market kind of crashed. Now, I do think one of the viewers were sharing me about this is the amount of botting and the, bot and the amount of bots in the game might affect how many herbs and how many other items is supplied. Because people can make bots and farm those items, and this may be flooding the market. And this may be one of the reasons why those items are, you know, are dropping in prices. So Amazon is saying they are banning the bots again, and once the bots are banned, I think the price of those items should slowly recover. So at the moment, I also do recommend going to those items too quickly, because the price have been slowly dropping at the moment. So simply put it, I'm currently looking into the tier 3 homing materials and some of the tier 2 ones as well, and also some of the tier 1 pouches. So you can see the, the highlights of the products I'm currently looking into. We also keep a track of the cost of crystals at the moment, but that's just, just for a reflection, because we'll be buying crystals with gold. And just to show you guys the graph of crystals trend in my server, if you click on crystals, you can see the crystal trend was starting at the bare bottom, and then this goes up, 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 and you can see the fluctuation. This will actually help you to know when to buy crystals for a discount in your server as well. Now coming over to the next biggest question is when to trade those items. This is when we're going to come over to the Excel. So we're going to use the Excel first. We're going to show you the raw data of how to enter into the Excel and how to get those amazing graphs and also predict the timing of your items. So coming over here, I'll show you guys a live example. So the cells that you will be asked to fill will be this cell. I'll be, I'll be bolting this cell and I'll turn them into red for you. So this way, you know, this is a cell that you can change the values. Basically, you want to have like an interest list. So you can see in my current game, I have an interest list of items I'm interested in trading. And if you guys are not sure of how to build your own interest list, what I do is I'll show you guys an example. I'll take away one item. You come over to the items that you want to add to your interest list. And let's say the item I took away was the destruction stone. You click on the button over here and this will be added to your interest list. You can have a total of 20 items of interest list per character. So if you have more items you're interested, you can also use your alt characters to make another interest list on different items. So on those interest lists, you can see particular items like the Guardian Stones, the Destruction Stones. You will be looking for the lowest price in your server at a time by refreshing it. So I'll enter this one, I'll show you guys. So this is 5-5. Five, five. This will take a little bit of time if you're new to this, but once you get used to it, once you have the interest list, this won't take too long. So I'll enter everything for you and show you guys this is 70. Just bear with me. So Solar Grace is 86. Usually we do this when we're sailing or traveling to places, and this is actually really nice. It's like a little meditation too. You're like, I know exactly what's going to happen in the, in the price. So this is the smaller one shot. This is tier 2 shot. Tier 2 shot is 285. You start to really get a hang of this, and it's really amazing. So I'm just showing you. And here is Honest on 317. And Solar Protection is going to be 685. 685. And you don't have to do as many as products as we do. We track more products. But if you just track a few products, you can just enter a few products. You will be summarized over here on the graph. So depending on how many products you enter, you can summarize over here. So this has been falling. And finally, let's look at the crystals. The crystal price can be seen at the shop over here. So notice when my mouse is clicking the shop, and we go to the currency exchange. Crystal price is 830. And just to show you guys, I've been trying to buy crystals for cheaper, right? So notice over here, all my histories, I have been trying to buy crystals. I have not spent any money on to buying gold. And I'm pretty proud of that. So 830, the price has been dropping. So now that you have entered the prices in your market, what you're going to do is you're going to highlight those cells, and you can manually highlight with your mouse, or you can hold on to shift, highlight, alt control, copy those cells, and put them at the bottom of this list. Now, there's one thing. If the 
if the current data currently we're using the US West data and we're both in US West fortunately but if you're not in US West you'll have to reconstruct this entire data cell yourself now let's say if you do not have the same server data as me and you enter in this data for the first time so what you will do is you will copy paste those cell and you will actually delete all the cells that's here because you probably don't need my service data because they might not, not be very reflective I mean, they can still give you a prediction of a trend over here, but the numbers, the values will be run. So if you do want to build a scratch, so what you can do is you can always come back for my copy and view my copy, and this will show you the trend, right? So while you look at my copy and my service data, you can see the trend. But if you want to build one for yourself, you can delete all the data over here. So you can select all the data over here. I know it took us a while to build this one, right? And big thank you again for Apex DM for building this one and also entering data with me. I just slowly entering data with him. So once you delete all of those, you want to copy the new data you have inputted on your server onto this row. And you're build, going to build the data from scratch. Then let's say this is that say Sunday and this is going to be 1 a.m. You're going to start enter the date. You're going to build the data. And notice that this is your first set of data. Let's say if you're building the next set of data after like say few hours let's say three hours time you build the next set of data there is not much change let's say if there's like some changes on the numbers so once you have entered the data you want to build them from scratch but be aware once you have entered those in you want to adjust the number of data points because you only have two points of data you can only put two here you will only show you two points of data and i'll go to solar grays so the y change will be Let's say I did Guardian Stone and also Destruction Stone. Notice that there's only two points of data. The graph will be not very summarizing for two points of data. So if your server is different, you will have to build from scratch. And basically, the more data point you enter, the more reflective you will be. Make sure you also enter the dates correctly, just so that it will time the dates for you. You don't have to do this all the time. Even if you do this once a day, you can slowly build up a very nice trend for your server. Notice that with four points of data, I can change this to four points. So this gives me a better summary. This is only because we're using different server data and you want to track the exact prices on your server, which is very important for you to have an accurate rate of the market trend and also the pricing. Now, once we have entered the latest data of today's update, make sure you also update your server time. So right now it's 1040 p.m. Saturday. So what I do is I'll put Saturday and I'll put 1040. The reason we update the time is the graph will reflect this time. And now once you have entered this and you have collected enough data, you can slowly to build your own prediction of pricing. Let's say if we're monitoring the destruction stones, notice that the latest time I have entered over here will be updated. Now, if the graph is too packed and too summarizing for you, there is a function we have also added over here. So notice over here, we're looking at over a week of data and a week of trend. If you want to look at the trend for the past few days, you can reduce the data to 40. And notice that this will shrink to last Wednesday. And this will show me the trend of the last Wednesday to current Saturday. So this will be the indication of how you should be trading items at what time. What I really like is to do about 80 points and 80 points will give me the weekly summary of the trend of the data. So let me show you guys an example with reading the trend with solar grace over here. So one thing to notice is the solar grace price have been hiking up after the aggro's patch and you can see this goes up, but you can see a massive drop right around Friday and also Saturday. You can see the timing over here and this is one of the timings I want to share with you guys. This similar trend will be followed by a lot of other items. Notice that there's another massive drop and for the next few days, the price will drop and then this will rise again. So notice over here, the price have dropped around Friday. And then once it drops, it keeps dropping. And then around Monday, it hits the lowest point and then it will slowly go up. So around this time in Monday and around, you know, a little bit around this time, around Saturday and Sunday, this is the better time to buy for those items. Then you wait for the items to rise. You can see the trend. So there's two trends now to summarize with you guys, but you can see visually in the graph, there is a intervals that the price is at the lowest and the price will go up for a certain time and then the price will drop again and the price will go up again. So let me try to show you guys more data. So this time I'm selecting 120 data. Now, one thing to notice with the data points is currently, you know how I said I like to go 120. The cells and all, so Excel is not adjusted for 120. So you might get a good summary of the cells, but it's not very good. So sometimes I think the highest I can go to is 100 at the moment with the cells. Notice there's no error when it's 100. So everything runs smoothly. 
once you go beyond the number of data points, it gets a little funny. So about 100 cells, you can see the reflection of an entire weeks of trade. So just be aware of this. So once you guys put too much, let's say if I put 150 over here, there will be no data, right? Because I don't have 150 points. But if I put 120, the cells will be a little iffy. It will be errors that's coming up. And that's why you can see in some recordings, as I was talking, I was having 120 cells. There was some errors because I was trying to pull too much data. I think 110 might work. Yeah, 110 still works. But once you go over to 120, you might get some errors. So again, you can see the timing of the price dropping. So how the pattern works is the price will drop and then it slowly hits a the bottom, then it goes up again. Then the price will drop again and it will go up again. Now in terms of timing, when to buy and also when to sell items. What I follow is why I buy my items if it's before Friday 5 a.m. server time and also Tuesday 5 a.m. server time. This is the timing window, a smaller timing window, which I explained, and also a bigger timing window, which I explained as well. This is about the chaos gate. So this is why I buy my items beforehand. I will stop buying and stocking items after this time, and I'll look into selling items. Because if we come in over to any of the trades for the items I'm talking about, the solar grace, and if I get more data point for us over here, you can see that around this time of the day, this is before the Tuesday 5 a.m. This is the lowest point then the price will go up. And similarly, there is a small gap between Friday and also Saturday. You get the low fall and the price goes up. So notice that there's a small spike for the first small window and there's also a lower point. This is the second window you buy and then afterwards you start to sell. So what I follow is I don't buy after Friday 5 a.m. and I don't buy after Tuesday 5 a.m. Now, if we come back into the game, if we go to the calendar section, two things I want to highlight is around Friday. Notice Friday, the chaos gate only have five hours. After Friday, the Saturday chaos gate starts at 11 a.m. So between the Friday 5 a.m. and also 11 a.m. on Saturday, there is actually about 30 hour window where there is no chaos gate. So basically what I do with my items is I will try to buy them a little bit before Friday. And you can see on the lower point on the Friday over here, this is why I start to buy my solar blessings and also solar grace. And you can see there's a low point I try to buy my item and this is around this time. And you can see this is like a little before the Saturday rise and then it hits the rice, right? And over here, this is also what I do. So the similar method I will use it for Wednesday. And the second timing window I try to buy them is between Monday and also Tuesday. So notice that around this time, the price is really low. And I know you will start to spike up by the time is Wednesday and also Thursday. So I'm buying around this time and I'm selling around this time. So the first smaller window is over here. So this is a small window I trade. The second window is over here and also I trade over here. And you can tell with the graph over here, you can see the patterns of the of the numbers. Don't worry about errors over here. I have taken away some of the calculations, so it's not too overwhelming. But this is reflective enough to show you the timing of a week, timing of the days of how to trade. So make sure you change the data point for more summaries of when to trade and how to trade. So over here as a summary of how I treat my items and how I make my gold. So usually I stock up on solar grace and also solar blessing before Friday 5 a.m. and also before Tuesday 5 a.m. This might take me a day to prepare before Friday and also one to two days to prepare before Tuesday. I know the price will start to rise after this point. This is very important because you want to buy the prices when they're at the bottom. So this is what I mean by the bottom. The price will start to rise after Tuesday 5 a.m. Notice the trend over here. They will go up slowly and sometimes they go even higher during certain times of the day, right? So I usually invest, currently I invest about 200,000 gold into the solar grace and I actually made about 300,000 gold back. So I'm actually getting close to 50% profit in investing into those two items. And I have also tested in trading the tier three pouches for the honor pouches and they were selling for about 70 to 80 gold. I bought about 50,000 gold worth of those items and I'm trying to sell them for 88 gold and also 129 gold. Those were selling. But I got a little greedy. I listed them for 169 gold and those never sold. So be careful with the pouches. They does not have as much demand compared to the homing materials. And people do have enough of the honor stones at the moment and they don't buy a lot of pouches. Now, similarly, I'm also trading on the lip stones. Notice that if we come back to the graph, there was a period of time the lipstones were selling for about 220, 200. And this is why I noticed the graph is, or the, the price of lipstones is at its lowest. So I bought into those and I start to trade them and sell them for higher. 
I sold most of my honor lipstones for about 350 gold to 399 gold. And by investing about 50,000 gold, I made maybe 20 or 30,000 gold this way. So those are some of the profitable investments. And also I tried to trade some of the great honor stones. I bought them for about 600 gold. I sold them for about 800 to 900 gold because I kind of expected them to rise. So if you come over to the data point for the greater honor stones, you can also see that they were trading for about 400 back then. I picked them up around 600, but now they're going close to 800. So you can slowly just see the trend of different items once you have this data table and once you have the graph over here. This also is showing the time of the day as well. Now, finally, I do have some additional tips to share with you guys. And I guess if you want to read up, you can feel free to read up. So just two things. Try to aim for 15 to 30% profit because the, the gap difference of the pricing difference, if you do 15 to 30% profit, so what you do is, let's say if you, buy the, if you bought an item for 600, you times that by 1.3, this is 30% profit. If you times this by 1.15, this is 15% profit. So try to aim for about 15% profit or maybe 30% profit when you first start trading those items. And once you get hang of it, you can slowly to aim for 50 to 80% profit if you know you have bought items at the lower point. So if I bought them at 400, I sell for 800, I'm almost like 80% or 100% profit. But if I bought them at 600, I'll try to aim for 30% profit. So it's quite important for us to not get too greedy and just multiply the factors that you want to make the profit in. And this is how you list your items. We also have guides on this as well, if you guys are not sure. I do recommend you guys to not follow me and get too greedy. Some of the items I listed for 80% profit did not sell. And then later I made a loss. And also try to not be trading during half of the way. So what I mean by that is notice that around this time interval, people were like, oh, 700. If I buy the great honor stone for 700, maybe I can sell for 800. Try to not trade after the time interval. So the two time interval I give to you guys is after Friday 5 a.m. and after Tuesday 5 a.m., you should not be buying more. You should be start to consider to sell. So those are the time interval you stop buying, the time interval you start selling. And just to show you guys this, I have made a mistake. I thought the tier three pouches will be going up. So I bought them for 125 gold and I was hoping them to sell for 169 gold, but they were selling for 149 gold, but I didn't sell at that amount, amount, right? So later on, they never sold. I have to sell them for 88 gold later and I made a sizable loss. So I made about 30,000 gold loss by doing this and I was way too greedy with my listing. So be careful with this. I made the mistake because I was buying into the items after the timing. So remember the timing we talk about? I was buying them after Tuesday 5 a.m. and the price is already too high for me. So just some general tips as a trade. I want to share more with you guys about those. Now, before we finish the video, it's okay guys, if the Excel and also the data entry is too much for you, you don't have to worry about it too much. What you can do is you I will be updating Excel as I go. And although the server price will be different, you can still see a trend that should be similar to most of the servers. And the biggest trend is you want to know around what time in your server and also my server should be very similar. It is a low point and it's a high point. What you do is you buy the low point, you sell at a high point. And you don't have to follow the exact values, of course, because the server numbers will be different. So you can use this one for general guidance if you're not entering the data as well. So you don't have to be like, oh my gosh, to make profit, I have to enter the data. And in my future videos, I'll try to make a calendar list of telling you what time to buy, what time to sell, and how should you look at it to make it even easier for you to make more profit in the game as free to play and also earn lots of gold. Now, if you guys haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, make sure you do so because we'll be getting a lot of guides, a lot of tips as I discover them, and I love the game. So I want to share as much as I can with you guys, and let's have a great time in Lost Ark as we explore this game and get the most out of it.